All right, I went in Lowe's yesterday and I got some new wood to uh, redeck my trailer. But the first order business I had to do was fix this by Jack. Not too long ago, I, um, I didn't have it all the way up and I hit something, bent it over. I just pulled it straight, I tack welded it and uh, use it till I get the right one I want to do. And we'll go from here. All right, what I gotta do now is I unloaded all my uh, boards off to the side. Now I'm gonna take out all these screws right here. They're all no good. Hopefully tomorrow my box comes in. I'll have all those screws put in. We gotta go across here. There's another line that goes across. So it should be about 46 screws. None under there. I'll show you why, but right now we gotta take all the screws out. All right, we got only about half the screws out. The other half broke off. So they're all broke off into the trailer. No big deal. I got new ones coming for it. So now I'm gonna take this grinder, cutter, and we're gonna go back here. <coughs> As you can see, it was welded once before back together. You just cut straight across right here. Metal piece comes up and then you're able to pull all this wood out of here. So let me get this set up and we're gonna cut. All right, you can see what I've got going on here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm cutting across in between the beams. I already started doing it, I forgot to grab the camera. You cut across and then you can just lift that section out same as over here, you cut across and now they come out. Easy to handle, a lot safer. Okay, as you can see, I've got this completely torn apart. Now, <coughs> what happened late yesterday, my cell phone and my camera, batteries froze. Everything went dead and so I just brought it in the house and I kept on working. Um, so now we're back out again in the morning and you can see that all these little bolts are sticking up right there They're not going to come out. So we're just going to cut them off with a wheel get all this straightened out and check every row I mean, All right, this first board right here You have to cut a 90 degree angle up there to fit inside the trailer head and um, so but these next two um, Are flat up against it. Everything's going great I am making these boards 82 and a half in distance. And I'm sticking that in there. And then as you can see how these boards are pushed way over. So I've been sticking it in, sliding it in this groove, and then sliding it over and banging them tight. And once I get them all in there, and then I'll try to do a gap between them all when I go to screw it together. So, and then we'll work on this after. I have got some wood. Um, it takes 11 to go across, but I have to do here also. So I picked up 13, and it's cold. It's uh, 11 degrees, and to show you how cold it is, I don't know if you guys can see it. That's all frost. That's all frost right there. It's cold. It's cold inside here. Happy is not in her little home, and the heater is on. That's her spot right there. She's got a, a heater and I threw that big comforter on top that keeps her nice and warm. That's where she spends her cold, cold day. She's outside running around now. All right, let me get going with this. All right, there we are. Trailer is decked. Complete. <coughs> Looks good. Tomorrow I'll tack weld that back up again. I cut that to lift this board up a little, these plates to slide the boards in and out. So I'll tack wheel that up tomorrow. Um, I still have to run to Oklahoma City to get my screws I ordered up. But I'm gonna run, uh, I need to do a chalk line across to where all the beams are. And I'll be putting in probably two rows of screws. Okay, what I've done is, well, you can't see it, maybe you can. You can see the beam that's right down here. I found the center of it. And I just ran a chalk line all the way across. As you can see, I already started those. Yeah, good old Tony, if it gets to turn the camera on all the time. So, what we're going to do is pre-drill these. 
And then you got my other drill, it's a hammer drill right here. Nope, here. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick the screws on. These are special Torx bit screws just for decking your uh, trailer. These are two and a half inches long and they're a, I think it's a Torx 40. Um, one thing I am doing only on, I got a washer. Only reason I'm doing it. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see how it's lipped up? It's higher right here. Well, what, and you can see it is over there on that side. What it is, is when you jam your wood inside the trailer, it gets jammed in there. And then because of the way the railing is made, it makes the wood kink up this way. So I have to add a, a, a washer to help suck it down some. If you don't, last year or la my last time I did a trailer, I just used the regular screws and they just pulled straight through. So I'm trying to give it more of a bite to hold on to by using that washer. All right, let me go ahead and get this drilled. I'll get a couple of them drilled and get everything set up. And then I'm going to take off and just get them all done. This is the one that I'm going to put the washer on right here. Let's get these in. There's that one. So now I'm going to put this one in with the washer. Alright, we got this whole line done all the way across. Now I'm working on my, I just strung my next line. I found the center of the beam and uh, snapped the new line. So now I'll go ahead and drill that, pre-drill it and then screw in my screws. Alright, we're through. Trailer's redecked. Got all my screws in. Got all my screws in right there. That piece right there is re welded, which holds all that stuff in. So you cut that and you lift the metal up and you can slide all your boards out. So that's all re welded back up again. So the decking is complete. It looks good. Way overdue. I am glad that I did get it done. I can start using this trailer again. I, it's been sitting here because of rotted out. So, everything looks great. This project's done. And I know I got a list more to start. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for following my channel. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, thanks for commenting. I appreciate it. Y'all are true loyal subscribers. And I do appreciate it. Alright, see you later. Bye.